It's Sunday morning, July the 30th, 2023, and it's a pleasure to be able to share thoughts with you from the scriptures today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and this morning will be the last verse of the 23rd Psalm. Verse 6 says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And there are two wonderful promises that are found in, in the last verse, Psalm 23, verse 6. The one is about goodness and mercy follow me, all following me all the days of my life. God will care for his own. He will protect. He will guard his own. And he has good things in store for them. I think of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, which says, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. God has a lot of good in store for you, and he will not fail to take advantage of opportunities to shower blessings upon his child. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And the rest of that verse, the other promise has to do with eternity. In heaven with the Lord I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Eternal rest waits for those who who know and love the Lord Jesus Christ. One of these days, all of our struggles and all of our trials and all of our challenges and difficulties will be over forever. And we'll be able to dwell with the Lord and praise Him and honor Him and love Him. And there will never be any end to the praise that we'll give to Him. And there won't be any more heartaches and no more sorrows, no more tears, no more death. No more challenges like that in heaven for all eternity. This is a proving ground. This is a testing ground. God puts us to the test. This is the opportunity for us to lay up for ourselves treasures in heaven. Will you trust him? Will you live by faith? Will you rejoice in the Lord as he's commanded? This is God's will concerning you. God's will for you at this particular time. Rejoice. Praise the Lord without ceasing. This is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. According to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and we should take advantage of the fact that we have the opportunities now to trust Him. One of these days, faith is going to be done away with because it will be replaced by sight. And as the, the old favorite hymn, Sweet Hour of Prayer, says, One day I won't pray anymore because my faith will be revealed, my faith will, faith will be consumed, or, or fulfilled is a better term, in sight. And so I won't need to ask the Lord for things anymore. Sweet hour of prayer, that, that is one opportunity we'll say farewell to one day. Just use the chances that you have today to praise Him and honor Him and trust Him and love Him and put Him first in your life. Serve the Lord. One of these days, it's all going to be over. God bless you today.